What's up guys, it's Baka here. Thought I'd take a minute and show you guys my my pressy twist. Now, they don't make or sell these anymore, so I won't do a full-blown tutorial with it, but I'll just kind of go over the parts of it and show you guys really quickly how I use it. Let's get into it. First, you've got your group head, basically. So, shower screen on the bottom, and if you pull the top off that, that's the chamber where your brew water goes. You got your filter basket. It's a 53 millimeter filter basket, which is unusually deep for this size basket, but it works. It also comes with a set of spouts that I never use. It's just a little add-on. I usually roll bottomless with this thing. All right, now you've got the main handle of the body, and as you can see, mine's pretty messed up. And if you thread the back of this off, you got a little space for your nitrous charger or whip it. And the nitrous charger is what provides the brewing pressure for this thing. So it's kind of an ingenious little setup. All right, let's make some spro. So first, you want to preheat your group head. So put some hot water in that brew chamber and just set it aside, let it chill. All right, weigh out your coffee. We're gonna use 16 grams of coffee for this thing. Now I ground this coffee on my Barazza Encore on like a, maybe a four or a five. You're gonna get that coffee in the basket. Now you can just scoop or dump coffee in the basket, but since I'm so fancy, I use this little HG1 tumbler. So the coffee is gonna go in the tumbler, gonna put the tumbler on the basket, pull the little plug out of the tumbler and the coffee is going to fall right into the basket and it's going to help make it really evenly distributed and it's nice and clean. Now with the amount of coffee and the depth of this basket it makes it really awkward for any finger strike dosing so I just give it a little tap to settle the grounds and evenly distribute the bed of coffee in the basket. And then we're going to tamp that thing just perfectly level straight down. This isn't the tamper that came with it. It came with a weird plastic one which I totally lost so I had to buy an equally cheap metal one. I think it was like six bucks on Amazon. All right, we're almost ready to roll on this thing. So dump that preheat water out of your brewing chamber, get your cup ready, put the basket in the handle, put the group head on top of that, and pour hot water right off the boil into that brew chamber. Cap the top of the brew chamber, start your timer, and pull the trigger. You want to hold the trigger the whole time this thing's brewing. So I'm looking to get 32 grams out, which is going to give us that one to two brew ratio. And I'm looking for that to happen in about 26 to 29 seconds. When you reach that 32 grams, you're going to release the trigger. You'll hear that push sound. It'll still drip a little bit after you release the trigger. So the pro move is to get another espresso cup and just chop that stream off so you get the exact output that you want. All right, that's a little my pressy overview and mini tutorial and for what it is, this thing makes really good espresso. You're never gonna get the nuance or extreme clarity that you'll get from a commercial machine if you have like a La Marzocco or Spirit or something like that. It's just not gonna happen. But if you do everything right, you will get consistently delicious coffee that you can have at home. And you know what? For what it is, I can deal with the lack of clarity to have espresso in my house. So if you find one of these things on eBay, might as well just swoop it up. The problem is when it breaks, you're basically fucked, it's done forever. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping mine lives for a while. And yeah, if you use one, let me know how it goes for you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.